So I definitely don't recommend any type of surgery to have your gallbladder removed if you have no symptoms. So if you've got bile or stones and you don't even know about it because you're eating fine and you don't have abdominal pain, you'll get nausea when you, when you eat, so you're symptom free, leave it alone. You can't fix what's not broken, right? So bile and stones, when they become a problem, when they cause symptoms, that's when you need it fixed. Bile salts are not the solution for, for most cases. Why is that? Because it doesn't take care of the problems or the risk factors such as the hormonal connection, the genetic connection for why, your, for why your bile got thick in the first place. So if you're gonna, unless you wanna take bile salts or medications the rest of your life, as soon as you stop those medications, what do you think is gonna happen? That sludge and those stones are gonna come back unless you address the underlying risk factors. So they're designed for a very specific subset of patients, usually people that can't tolerate um, you know, surgery, they uh, are at risk for developing some kind of severe complication, they've got another medical or health condition going on, and those are the people that uh, you know, probably need to do bile salts, but bile salts don't take care of the underlying issue. So the take home points are, if you have sludge, if you have stones, and you are symptom free, leave it alone. If you have symptoms, unless you have some kind of extenuating circumstance, right, get your gallbladder out.